Who would ever think that the small, buzzing creature we often shoo away holds the key to our survival? The answer, my friends, is bees. And today we're going to talk about a unique vow taken by three individuals, Carmen, Krista, and Jorge, who have made a lifelong promise to never harm these industrious insects, be it bumblebees, wasps, hornets, or bees, regardless of their reincarnations or meetings in the afterlife. A curious pledge, isn't it? Now you might be wondering why such a vow even exists. The reason is simple yet profound. These three individuals understand the crucial role these tiny beings play in our ecosystem. You see, bees are the world's most important pollinators of food crops. It's estimated that one third of the food we consume each day relies on pollination, mainly by bees. This makes them indispensable for our survival. But these buzzing creatures are not just food providers. They're also key biodiversity enablers. By carrying pollen from plant to plant, bees ensure the survival of wildflowers and many other plant species. Without bees, we wouldn't just lose honey and crops, but entire landscapes would change, potentially leading to a domino effect on other wildlife and ecosystems. Carmen, Krista, and Jorge took this vow because they recognize the dire consequences of the declining bee population. They understand that every single bee matters and that even the smallest action or inaction can have a ripple effect on our world. They have committed to not being part of the problem but part of the solution. This vow is not just about not killing bees. It's a promise to respect life, to understand our interconnectedness with nature and to act responsibly. It's a pledge to protect our environment, to ensure that our children and grandchildren inherit a world as beautiful and bountiful as the one we did. In summary, the vow taken by Carmen, Krista and Horge is a testament to the importance of bees in our ecosystem. It's a vow of respect for life, a commitment to environmental stewardship, and a call to action for all of us. It reminds us that we are not separate from nature but a part of it, and that our survival depends on the survival of even the tiniest creatures among us. So as we go about our lives, let's remember the vow of Carmen, Krista and Jorge and let it inspire us to do our part in protecting these small yet mighty creatures. After all, the future of our planet depends on it.